Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my equestrian Christmas list. I have my uh, Christmas list on my computer on a website called Gister. This is not sponsored, but I love this website. I've used it the past two or three years now. Um, and you can make other lists too, and you can share them with family members, and they can reserve gifts that they're going to buy you, so then it kind of tells other people who are buying that object already, and they won't double buy you a gift. It's actually really, like, smart. So, let me get my gift, or my list up, and I will let you know. Starting off, um, every year since about, how old was I? Maybe five? five years old maybe, um, my mom and dad decided to in place this rule of for Christmas you can only get three things, that's all Jesus got, so you can ask for your top three gifts that you want and make the rest of your list, you know, for friends and family if they're going to get you a gift and they need to know what to get you, but you can only ask for three things from Santa. So um, we still do this tradition today and my three things this year, the only thing horse related is a saddle and I would like to get a new saddle and my parents have to talk to my trainer to figure out what they want but I have found one that I really like but I don't know if you know I will look good in the saddle you know riding with it so I'd have to see if there's a way I could test it out before I buy it um but definitely want a saddle that's my top thing so getting back to just my equine and equestrian Christmas list even though I do not own a horse I do have a lot of horse products that I would like to have just because you know I want a horse <laughs> So starting off, um, I have a bunch of options of saddles on my list just because, you know, my parents are going to be looking for me a saddle and I don't know what my trainer's going to recommend. And I have some picked out that I like. There's some used ones and some non-used. So first thing that's not a saddle is a ring. And it is a Snapple Bit horse ring. And I believe my grandma's probably getting this for me because it was in a magazine that she made me look at. And it was already on my list and I circled it in the magazine and she's probably going to get it for me. But, um... It's a ring and it just looks like the snaffle bit. I'll try to put pictures of all the objects on the screen as I'm going through. Um, but that's on there. I also have a equestrian sports short sleeve English shirt. And I love this shirt. Like I wanted this shirt um, last year. But my cousin got me a different one that says prepper for show day. And I love that shirt too. I love them all. They're just all so cute. But um, I like this one too because this one's short sleeve. And the other one I have is long sleeve. And I love the equestrian prep collection. They are my favorite. Like, um, I also have a little like road sign type thing. You know how like streets have names? It's like a street sign that says equestrian. Um, I don't know what I would do with it. Probably just hang it up over my wall or something. I don't know. And then I have some breeches slash jogs on there. Um, a hoof pick that is shaped like a little boot and it's so cute. I saw um, two in Taylor Reds I think. They got this in one of the like subscription boxes that they ordered and it was really cute so I found one. The only thing is it doesn't have a brush on it and I like them to have brushes so you know whatever but I can deal. Um, I also have a best friend bareback mounting stirrup assister but you can like take it off as soon as you're on for bareback. But I mean I know I don't have a horse or whatever but I mean you know I could keep it at the barn and it would be a thing we'd all use but I also have some halters on there because they're really stinking cute. Um, I have a whip hanger just because if if I get more whips then I might need to keep them organized. I'm just one of those people who likes to have things organized. I have a hands-on grooming glove which is a glove that has like things on it so when you, you can just groom with your hand but it's a glove so it makes sense. The picture explains it. Um, a saddle singing... <laughs> A saddle cleaning strap. Um, this isn't necessary. It's just if I get a saddle and you know. Because I mean I can just clean it hanging on a mounting or on a saddle holder. So I don't even need it. But it's just on there because whatever. Um, and then I have a bunch of different polos on there because polos are kind of cool to me. And they're like, you know, I have a mild obsession. We don't have that many like cool colors and options at the barn when I'm getting horses ready. So um, I also have mint green yacht rope reins. I mean, I wouldn't use them, obviously, for riding um, in the ring or anything, but lessons or trail riding, they'd be cute. Um, some splint boots, 
a horse lover's wash bag. It's like a bathroom tote type thing. And it says like horse lover on it. It's pretty cute. So protective stirrup covers for if I, my saddle if I get one. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of wall brand of equine brushes and grooming tools. And the last thing I have on there is Aroma Bright's hoof pick. I love the bright green and the bright blue one. They're so pretty and cute. I just love it. Um, so that's all of my Christmas list related to horses. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come back next week and there may be another video for you to watch. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It should be read down below. And like this video. Comment some video ideas down below. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And I'll see you next week. Bye.